More legal trouble this week for Florida's governor. Three new lawsuits now pile on top of the dozens of others challenging state actions. News Channel 8's Capitol Bureau reporter Libby Dean takes a look at how much it's costing you. We've yet to hear back from the governor's office with exact figures on how much this is costing, but what we do know is the legislature set aside millions of dollars to fight these legal battles. Governor DeSantis's legal bills and battles piling on this week. Three new lawsuits join the dozens of others making their way through state and federal courts. Monday, it was a fight against the state's new immigration law. Wednesday, two more challenges. One alleges the state is failing to restore felon voting rights. The other demands more details on that controversial migrant relocation program. It's no surprise to the governor's office, who dedicated six million of the state's budget to court battles. Meanwhile, DeSantis campaigning on those laws being battled in court. We're proud to, to talk about what we've been able to accomplish uh, in the state of Florida because we've really led the way on a lot of important issues and we've produced results. But political experts say each lawsuit is a blow to DeSantis's campaign. The blueprint for Florida does not look like a very strong blueprint for America when you see this constant litigation. Tara Newsom questions the cost of the governor's White House ambitions as the court cases and defeats pile up. Are Floridians going to be tolerant of using state dollars to defend on culture wars when it's hurting our economy? That's a question Floridians will know sooner rather than later as the GOP primary draws closer. Governor DeSantis will likely face more legal battles in the future, but the real question here is, will voters in Iowa and New Hampshire care? Meanwhile, back in Florida, taxpayers will be footing that bill. That's all from the Capitol. I'm Libby Dean. Eight on your side.